Yeah, 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 man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, aka the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking mixtape trappers radio, man. I got a special guest in the building, the bitch. S Dot, man. What's happening? What's the word, man? What's, man, what's going, going on, on bro? <laughs> oh, shit, fuck with y'all, man. We in the middle with it. Hell yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? You all the way out here, dog. Like, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. dog. You, dog. you the first Chicago artist I had on this motherfucker, dog. Oh, yeah? Swear to God. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. And it's up there. Oh, the real. We making history, dog. Oh, we making history this We're motherfucker. We gonna stomp this mixtape travels. We locked. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, but uh, for the motherfuckers that, don't, that ain't tapped in uh, and don't know who S. Dot is, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? Let them know who you is. Sure. Uh, you know, just nigga from Chicago, man, trying to make a way with the music. Young nigga, though. Doing yeah. this shit since a youngin. Uh, Basically, yeah. I'm like one of them from where I come from, cause I put in hard work. But I do music, you know. If y'all don't, I'm gonna say it like that. I, I'm a rapper. I do music. Shit. I'm one of the hottest in Chicago. In yeah, my ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> shit. That bullshit. Cause you like one of the founders of other drill shit in the Chicago, right? That's what they like to say. Shit. Yeah. I was like one of cause DJ L. We gonna say that he the one who created that sound. He a producer from Chicago. He he, he do like. G Herbo, Lil Bimmy, them beats. He started with them too. Okay. He the one who created that, that that drill sound, putting them drums and them hats on that shit like that. Mm-hmm. The t t t t That's drill right there. Yeah. So that's yeah, cool. he was sending me that shit first. He was giving her them beats and he was sending me the beats with that sound on it. And that's what we rapping on shit. Just so having the world gravitated to it, like it was a new genre. Like damn, that's because it's, it's like a different feel. It's dark music, but it's up tempo. You can nod and, you know, talk your shit, so drill. Uh-huh. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like even Chicago, man, y'all even got your own fucking lingo, bro. Like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when did this shit start? Like, uh, like with the ops and, you know what I'm saying? Like, Goofy and shit like that. Like, when shit. did you, when, when was you first introduced to the, to the lingo? When I was carrying around, Modi. That shit, I ain't gonna lie. That's a real... Now, I'm going to say like 09-ish, 2010, that's mm-hmm. when you start hearing Ops. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. They're like, nigga, ooh, them Ops, we don't fuck with them. Yeah. Opposition. So, you know what it is. Niggas know what it is. You hear that, you have to lock. Like, what the fuck is the Ops? Niggas, <laughs> niggas know what's going on. You hear that? That go to Ops. Bullshit. So, yeah, it was shit. We got a lingo, but the world gravitated to that, too. Like, this shit. Dot, come from Chicago. Dot, yeah. Ops. Shit. Goofy. All that shit come from Chicago. This shit is like our city real. It's like it inspire. Motherfuckers be want to be like Chicago. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, dog. Hell yeah, because uh, uh, you BD, right? Yeah, I'm black disciple. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like explain to the motherfuckers, like, uh, what was it like? Uh, you know what I'm saying? And how did you even uh, get introduced to the BDs and shit? Shit, I got introduced to the gang. Like, my father, he moved me in on, like, he was moving him around King Drive area a lot. Shit, Wild Hunters. Every neighborhood we moved in was like, just so happened we moved in BD neighborhoods. Yeah. And I got to walk to school and shit. So, you know, just hanging around and initiating myself type shit. Like, a shorty, you got to be over there. That's where you at. So, you going to gravitate to what's going on. Yeah. So, um, we at school and then that same niggas we at school with, after school, we on the block. Mm-hmm. Game banging on a whole nother type of time. And it's really getting like that, like, before the guns and shit, though, like, niggas catch you, beat the fuck out you or anything, hurt you bad. Now niggas just kill you, though. So it's like, this shit got real colossal. The so that, but shit, I be just trying to, you know, tell the shorties, like, shit, that ain't the way for sure. It ain't nothing you want to do. I didn't want to be part of no street shit. It's just like, shit, that's where I come from. That's what I gravitated to. I want no choice. Yeah, like how old though? Like how old was he when you about what? what you think? Shit, I was about eleven, twelve. Yeah, heavy for real on it. I been knew what I was gonna be because my father. Yeah. You know he new breed. So, oh, he new breed. Yeah, he new breed. So you know that's trades both ways. Mm-hmm. Black gangsters. So I always around it anyway. I'm watching them and shit. So then he from out west. Yeah. We uh we never stayed out west when I got older. He moved us out south. Mm-hmm. Heavy on the black disciples and the gangster disciples and. Shit like that. Like I say, just so happened we always around the King Drive area. It's a lot of black disciples along King Drive. So that's where I'm from. Right. That, that's the Park View uh, area, right? Washington Park. Yeah, Washington Park. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Sure. Oh, 
Hey, yeah, but sure, uh, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you probably just said it a hundred times, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, our listeners probably don't know, but like, how did, how, what's the real story behind, uh, how does the 600 start? 600? Yeah. Shit. It depends on like, if we talking the music, like Team 600. Oh, okay. Me and Ede. Yeah. Me and Ede, long little cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bro came to me one day, I remember like yesterday, he like, bro, we gonna do this shit. We been 600, that's the name of the hood. Yeah. That's the block. Because we on 60 of King's Drive. Mm -hmm. We 600. And shit, bro, like, we gonna do the music. And we can't be just looking like we just on gang time. They finna start and dying shit. And we gotta make this shit official. Let's get an LLC and make it a real label and all that shit. This e day. I'm young as hell, too. I'm like... I think I was like 15, yeah. 16. Yeah. He talking like this. I don't even, he talking business shit. I'm like, hey, let's do it. I'm just thinking, we just, you know, I look up this shit, one of the biggest shit in the world. Like, you know, yeah. it started me and Ede, like, for sure. Nine of them came and all that shit came after that, but that shit was like one of the biggest labels, underground labels, yeah. street shit, like. We ain't never had no advances or none of that. We was signed to the streets for real, Team yeah. 600. For real. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I, one of the first videos I ever seen was the 6 double O, the first one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, classic. Yeah. Long LA, free yeah, yeah. nine. Long LA, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like, what was it like even putting that shit together? You know what I'm saying? That video. Shit, that shit was, that shit was amazing. Everybody was there. J Money was even out there. We was in the old shooting some of that shit. Yeah. We, we like, fuck it, let's go on old block and shoot the rest. We shot too much down on the block. Let's go down and fuck with Fono. Yeah. We going there. We got those members and uh, niggas who ain't here no more. So I, I love watch the video. See a lot of my guys and shit. Reminisce. But he they put that together. I was out of town when he sent me the song. He sent everybody the song. Everybody recorded at different studios. Everybody was somewhere else. He like, y'all need to be on the block this day, and we gonna do this shit, bro, and woo, woo hop on this song. He was standing on it. So he sent it. It was just his verse when I put my shit on it. Yeah. He sent it to me. I, pop, I put my verse on it. I sent it back to him. He sent it off to L.A., I guess, and 9, and that's how that went. Then, shit, we put it together. Real Productions came on the block, shot the video. I didn't think it was gonna be that big, because we just was on some gang shit. Yeah. I ain't think the world really grab. I was like, I don't know, you know? Yeah. The world, they scattered this type of shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know what this gonna do, man. But yeah. this was, I ain't gonna lie, it was really like, that's E-Day project. Yeah. The whole six double O, both of them, he putting them, he stood on those. Like, that's bro shit. And he had a had dot on them. Yeah, for sure. Both of for sure. Original sixes, and he know who got that shit. Like, on, on them bars from the block, so he, come on. Yeah. This shit gotta be hard. Yeah, but no. to me, like, uh, the part two went crazier, though. Like, part hey, yeah. two went <laughs> way crazier, yeah, you know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, hey. Shout out, uh, Take a Pong. He was on, uh. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, that's uh, when L.A. died. Yeah, so yeah. we had to put some in motion. Uh -huh. But shit, yeah, yeah, don't bet it's classic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that video, like, y'all was in the crib. Like, where was y'all at when y'all shot that shit? The, the part two. Um, we was at Nine Crib. Nine Crib. Okay. Yeah, we in his front room. Ganged out. It was about 50 of us in that bitch on gang time. Now OG was cool as hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cause I see Breezy was in that bitch. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. Plenty of motherfuckers in there, dog. Yeah, we always used to slide the nine crib. Nine shot a lot of his videos in the same crib. That's yeah. A, yeah, he be at, you see the room with the nine on the wall. That's, uh. that's the crib. <laughs> we use every room in that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> we share. We yo, yo. That's crazy. Hell uh, yeah, uh, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just talked about E Day. Like, 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 what's one of your favorite memories? Uh, e Day, like in the studio and shit. Shit, uh, one of my favorite got to be the last time we was just in a, right before he just passed, we dropped some shit. Yeah. And shit, we was just vibing, bro, was in that bitch, we bouncing off each other. I had put that little body guy, what I say, Modi? She said she never had a rapper, that's the real thing. Oh, I was like, <laughs> he was stuck, he had a word block, I mean, writer block. I yeah. put a little, I was like, say this. He like, yeah, that's the one. He went in there and went crazy. I was like, oh, we was back down. Cause me and bro one ain't just talking before he passed for a little minute. Yeah. So we had, thank God, you know, made that, fix that before he passed and shit. Long live my brother though. Bullshit. Yeah, cause he passed last year, right? Yeah, it's been a year. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a year. It's been over a year. Yeah, over a year. Yeah. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did that shit affect you? Cause like you said, you started with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, y'all basically y'all came up together type shit. Like, how did that affect you? You know what I'm saying? When bro passed. 
Man, that shit was fucking with me. It fuck with me now. That shit fuck with me. You know? That's my boy. Like, shit, that shit just fuck with me. That's he a real one. Cool one of the real ones. Yeah. 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 Cause, Cause I know you niggas. Probably- Niggas ain't ain't fuck with cool how they supposed to, you know, who in position, who I feel like could have reached a little. But it feel like when you dead, nigga, show more love. Yeah. I wanna never build like that. I'm gonna give you your flowers while you up. That's why I made it right with my brother before he passed, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, long live that man. That's yeah, yeah, my man, fucking bro. boy. <laughs> long live it, man. For sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? But that all bad, you know what I'm saying? That Spot video water, out right bro. now, man. You say why Rusky, my bad. Oh, I said the all bad video out right now, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, shout out T Glaze that went in Milwaukee too, man. <laughs> T Glaze that went crazy, man. I fuck yeah. with him. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah, that, that Go right. check that new shit out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause uh, you said uh, y'all was in Chicago when y'all put that shit together, right? Yeah, he slid through the city. We was um Yeah, we was in the city with it with that. Yeah, yeah. That shit was hard. Real. Yeah, yeah, cause I see y'all was at what y'all was at like a mechanic shop or some shit like. Y'all, yeah, yeah, that's my people. Look, uh, yeah, it's like a little mechanic shop. They let me get in there, throw the dicky suit on, like I work in that <laughs> shit. Yeah, cause I do all this shit on my own, so I just utilize everything I got around me. I got shit like that, so I be doing shit like that. So. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, when I was listening to shit, like, I kept hearing you say, you know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't seen the hundred, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Like, like I, I heard you emphasizing on that shit, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when was the first time that the S Dot seen a hundred? Man, my big brother counted a hundred in my face, man. Him yeah. and his homie. They, they used to be out there in Wisconsin fucking around and shit. Yeah. He locked up now, so fucking around, you know? Yeah. But that's the first time I seen a real hundred in my face. And I was young, and I was about 15. 15. Hundred, though. Like, real loud, like right here, me and you, this shit on the table. <laughs> oh, damn. Couldn't close my mouth. Yeah. But yeah, I've been around some, I've been around some people. I down there saw a couple of them. Niggas having that shit. So yeah, that just motivated me. That's all that was. That's why I grind like I do, because I done been around that shit. Good. Seen niggas having that shit, and I know I can go get that shit. Mm-hmm. Motivate. I don't hate them. They motivate me. Only. Hey, but like, what you think about the Chicago music scene, like right now, like overall? You know what I'm saying? Like how you? Man, that shit need me right now, man. That shit dried <laughs> up, man. But shit, I ain't gonna last a lot of controversy and shit going on right now, and I be just trying to stick in, stay in my lane. So, but all that shit going on, the, the city kind of like I don't know. The music just turned. It's turned, but it ain't. It ain't turned. Yeah. It's just controversy right now. It ain't really no hot music though. It's just a lot of shit, you know, all that bullshit now. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, because like, <clears throat> like we ain't gotta say no names or whatever. But like, like how you feel about like rappers that's not from uh, Chicago that that openly disrespect the city? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's your take pay on that? Shit, no man, because they can't come to the city. Yeah. Shit, it'd be like you just in Chicago, Illinois is a big ass state. You missing a lot of money. You don't fuck Illinois. Don't fuck with you. Your ass is out. That's a check. That's what I'm saying. I fuck with everybody. I don't got no reason to be coming for the whole. What the fuck you coming for the whole city for? Mm-hmm. Come for go for your man. Whoever disrespect you, disrespect them. Don't come for the whole. You know, mm-hmm. niggas be losing fans doing shit like that. You gotta show love no matter where you at. For real. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like, um, like how you feel about the internet shit though? Because you know, like. Uh, you know, on the internet, a like, motherfuckers becoming uh, investigators. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they they try to figure out shit. solve crimes and shit. Yeah, solve crimes and push yeah. it together. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? But like, do you think the internet is uh, fucking up the game right now, or you think the internet is the new streets? Um, shit, it can't be the name of the streets. The internet gonna always be the internet to me. But yeah, definitely got niggas heads fried. It's getting niggas killed for sure. Yeah. And they definitely think they investigators on that motherfucker. Everybody think they got a criminal, some type of motherfucking degree in criminal justice. So everybody saw, you see, they saw a dog murder in two days. <laughs> swear to God, dog. And they was down there this close to hitting that thing on the head. I'm damn. Right. They like, don't people fast with this shit. Then the bloggers and shit, they don't make it no better. So. Yeah. Yeah, that shit it was even crazier, dog. Like how they, they knew who did it, uh, what happened. Man, this nigga's what? It's people who, who live for that shit, sit on that shit all day and just put out information, false or not. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. They putting that shit out and running views out, getting checks out that shit. Hell yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't really like that shit. What it is, what it is. It's the new world, the internet. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, uh. You know what I'm saying? Ask uh, him, bro. Oh, yeah, the Ash Oh, yeah, like, niggas like Takashi, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll slide on O Block and, and, and run, you know what I'm saying? And... His ass a broofer. <laughs> Straight goofy. <laughs> Goof ass nigga, man. Shit like that, we don't condole. That's what I'm saying. Like, six nines. <laughs> but we ain't gonna talk about him. Nah, hell no. Nah. Fuck that nigga. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I know this is your first time on Mixtape Travis Radio, bro. I, I got something for y'all motherfuckers real quick, bro. What's so, up? We about to play a motherfucking game, man. Oh. <laughs> this shit is called the motherfucking Big Guys Box, man. All right. Hey, look, look, look. Hey, you get 60 seconds with the box, but you got to answer each question in the box in 20 seconds or less, man. You ready? All right, for sure. Grab the first, man. Read it out loud, man. What to say, man? S dot, man. You in the mill, man. What to say? Read it out loud. What to say? Freestyle about smacking a goofy out of his car, watching the park. Yeah, freestyle about smacking a goofy out watching the park, man. Damn, I'm gonna lose this game, bro. Right. <laughs> go to the next. Go to the next. Go to the next. Go to the next. What to say? What to say? Who was that? S dot Mount Rushmore's of Chicago. Yeah, who was that? S dot uh, Mount Rushmore. Who your top um, four in Chicago? Shit, Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. Jules. Her. Her. One more. Uh, me. All right, that's the all right, so, go. Last one, man. Last one. <laughs> last one. Let's go, right, man. Let's Come go. on, let's kill it, man. You got to keep redeeming yourself. If I've had nigga tell you can't claim 600 no more, how would you respond? Yeah. His ass ain't going to be able to tell me can't, I can't claim 600 no more. His ass dead. <laughs> I'm in 600. You ain't going to be able to tell me nothing. Your ass is out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a cool game though. <laughs> Make your ass quick on your feet. Yeah, yeah, the real yeah, you gotta be fast, dog. Like I always put the freestyle. The niggas that that's what niggas niggas never never get them, bro. The freestyle shit. Uh, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I see you came in here with the bracelet, bracelet you know what I'm saying? Like like what's going on? Yeah, you fighting a case, like what's going on? You just... Oh yeah, that's some little shit. Yeah. It ain't nothing amazing. You see I'm move, I'm here. So, yeah, yeah, you moving around. Yeah, so yeah, but what's going on? Can you talk about it or you can't talk about this? Oh, no, hell no. Okay. It's still, this ain't, it's just going on right now. Okay. But yeah, it ain't nothing. Yeah. It ain't affecting how I'm moving on. It's just shit, I don't like, I can't wear my shoes. I don't like how I look on my old whites. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shit fucking with my, you know? There you go, look that motherfucker. It's all right, though. My shit beeping. <laughs> it's all right. You know what I'm saying? But, like, uh, uh, when you just in L.A., you was just in L.A. Uh, not too long ago, right? L.A., uh... Or where you come from? Like, I know they said, where you just come from, bro? Uh... I forgot where... When you nah. was out of town, so... I was in New York. New York. That's yeah. probably what it was. We was in New York. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. always that old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what was going on out there? They just kicking Shit. and fucking around? Me and my manager went out there. I was just on business. Yeah, yeah. Working hard as hell. I was tired as hell. I got back. <laughs> but Shit. I mean, I fuck with New York. That's second career. That's like the mall of Chicago. I'm always there. Yeah. So. Sure. Yeah, because yeah, I ain't never been there, dog. Like, 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 what's the what's what's the vibe of New York? It's a vibe. Mm-hmm. Oh, everything a vibe. That's why I've been locked in since I went. Yeah. yeah. Shit, I'm man. It's just the crib. They show love too. For sure, I made my. I made my real first big bag out there, and yeah. I'm from Chicago. What, the, uh, for a show or a verse or what? I think it was just for. Well, it was for a verse. Verse. Yeah. Pay pay how you weigh. I'm damn, I gotta fight with niggas at the crib to get my number that I'm standing on. They just want to throw under that talking. They just come on, we with this shit, let's do it. I like how they handle business. I've been just like, okay, that's where I need to be at. Hell yeah, but uh like like what you know about Milwaukee though? Do you know anything about the Milwaukee uh rap scene or you ain't too familiar with that shit? I ain't well, I ain't too familiar with it. I be seeing a couple Couple motherfuckers on um, T Glaze and shit, cause I worked with him, you know. Yeah. So I be seeing a couple motherfuckers, but I ain't really. Who hot out here right now? Man, dog, you gonna put me on the spot, bro? Shit, who got it for the city right <laughs> now? <laughs> who got it? Uh, man, you know everybody know Chicken. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, that sound familiar. Yeah, Chicken for P. Sure. Uh, yeah. So sure. who else hot? Mike, Mike, he hot. He's uh, he hard. You gotta type in. You bro. heard on body? Bro, we fucking with them. Yeah, Chicken P. Yeah, yeah, type uh, Chicken P, Mike, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Uh, action, action. He hard too. So, 
I'm on top man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, uh, that's what uh, your manager was telling me. He said, man, we down there. I need to hook that shit up with you and chicken, bro. Yeah, put it as door. You know what I'm I following us. who got the city. That's what I be on. He got the city, bro. I got my city. said, I ain't fucking around. I know who I'm at. So I like working with niggas who on the same type of time. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but... um. You know what I'm saying? On some other shit, like, like you know, uh, Rondo, you know what I'm saying? He got sentenced to 39 years. See, they For real. got 38 uh, years. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was locked in with both of them, them your niggas. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, uh, yeah. like when was the last time you hollered at them, and uh, how's they uh, going through their situation right now? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. It's been a minute since they called. Yeah. It's been a little minute. I ain't hollered at them in like a year. Yeah, okay. I don't know how, I don't know where it's at, but I know Bruno kid got their chin up in that bitch. Every time I talk to him, shit, he be sounding good to me. Yeah. Like, he got his head on him. Ain't no drugs in him and shit like that. So he be sounding good. That's keeping faith in that bitch, you know, trying to get back. And I just be keeping burning up in my prayer, shit. Right. For sure. Yeah. Maybe they can come home. There's yeah. still a chance they can come home. They get a pill. Right. Yeah, but hopefully, man, we definitely need them niggas out here. Show that. Like that. Free to six. For real. <laughs> hey, yeah, man, but what, what's your goals with the rap shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I see you moving, you know what I'm saying? You popping back out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like what's your goals for 2022? Oh, shit, I don't just say, fuck the scene up, fuck the music scene up. I want to be in a club heavy. I need something fucking the scene up. Nice, strong single. That's all I'm working on. Uh -huh. Something, something hard. hard uh -huh. For sure. And shit, other than that, we just dropping projects. We got a 45 minutes tape in the drop. Mm -hmm. Me and my brother, 45, King Sumo. Yeah, shout out yeah. my brother, real quick, bro. He's in the motherfucking building, man. That's my brother. Know what the fuck going on. Hey, he on front line with this shit, for sure that. Yeah. We got a mixtape from the drop. Then I got some shit with, I'm from the drop, like an A-Song look. EP, mixtape with DJ Bigger Ranking. I'm going to do yeah, that, like, ranking. yeah, for sure. That's going to be like me. Then after that shit, I'm going to do some shit with my boy DJ Mill Ticket. He from Chicago. Yeah. He a big DJ, but he produced too. Damn. So we doing like a project, he doing all the beats and he hosting it. So this shit gonna be hard, live from the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm working, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, dog, I can't wait, man. We gotta hear this shit. Man, but man, me and you probably gotta dare that link up and do something, bro. I, are you fuck around? Yeah, dog. Oh, yeah. Bro. Have Beyond yeah. shoot that motherfucker, bro. We gotta do something. I'm gonna check your shit out. We get off these cameras. <laughs> show that. Bullshit. Yeah. No, yeah, but uh, you know, like, uh, I always got like everybody know you fuck with uh, a King Sosa, you know what I'm saying? Chief Sosa, you know what I'm saying? But like, oh, yeah. like, uh, like, what's an untold story, you know what I'm saying, for bro that that you probably that you can tell that that that's legal, like that you can't, you know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna get nobody in trouble, bro. Oh uh, no, who Sosa? Yeah. When his ass came up, I stayed like on Forty Third King Drive, and yeah. he, he coming from Park, or he's like, I'm finna slide on. He called me. I'm at the crib. I got a studio in my crib in the room and shit, so he yeah. want to come record. He like, bro, I ain't got no ride down now. You know, King Drive, you just keep straight all the way to 43rd. He on 64th, so it's like 30-something blocks, 20-something okay. blocks or whatever. He like, I ain't got no ride, man. I'm finna hop on the bus. <laughs> oh, man, hell no, boy. You tweaking. This, it's wartime. Like, this is, <laughs> my fuck's dad. It's going on. It's like 20 what? This this like when we drop Hustle Hard. Damn. So I'm like. Nah, but don't wait. just wait. I'll wait till my uh, OG get off and I'll get the car or something. I don't, man, he like, bro, fuck all that old video. I'm coming right now. <laughs> man, look, he calling. He, I'm on the bus, bro. Ooh, ooh, I'm finna be bopping over like 10 minutes. Meet me on the drive. I just walk over to the King's Drive, meet him when he get off on the bus. I'm this nigga really out of the bus, so I walk over to the bus stop. Bro, hop off with two old ass 38s. I swear to God, on, my, on both my sons, he hop off with them and see, boy. I told you I'm coming on, boy. Put the motherfuckers up. You tweaking, boy. What the fuck you gonna do with those niggas riding around with 30 shots? He was like, hey, I made it. <laughs> oh, hold on, all this nigga crazy. Classic, though. That shit funny. I just talked to him. I, I brought that out. I ain't gonna never forget that on, boy. Remember, you came out, you, got, you caught the bus. That's one rule in the city. Niggas know don't get on the bus. You dangerous as hell. You playing crazy. A lot of people down on the bus. You feel me? That's dangerous. Even waiting on the bus stop. The nigga got on the bus, came down, keys right, hopped off that bitch. We walked back to the slide. I got him a ride back. I'm like, he ain't coming like that, man. Your ass tweaking. He was, he was ready to get back on that bitch, go back up keys right. I'm like, your ass tweaking, what? But yeah. Yeah, because I seen the interview. Uh, like, y'all got something in the works or, or, or what, like, what's going on? 
Oh no, we just been politicking. Yeah, been politicking. Yeah, we been we just been putting something together. He putting something together and shit, you know. But that's what it is. I just had recently got back in touch with bro, yeah. like a year ago, some shit. We ain't really want talking and shit. But you know, he be having shit going on. Where's nigga problem? <laughs> so, he motivation though. So I seen that's one of the niggas front of trenches who was right here with me, and I seen that shit happen. That just was motivation. That's why I keep going to the day. I ain't gonna lie, so motivating. So, hell yeah, you already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, aka the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking mixtape trappers radio, man. S dot Donarachi, man. What's happening, gang? It's the word, man. Shout out mixtape trappers, man. We locked in.